got Dandy versus Yak. It's, it's Yak. yak. It is, in fact, a Yak. And isn't that Dandy? You know, this is going to be a very difficult matchup for Mr. Ganon here. Definitely going to be a very difficult matchup. Uh, <laughs> what Yak's probably going to be looking for, he's going to try and wall him out with his uh, projectiles. He's got a little bit more range than Ganondorf. Definitely yeah. has the speed. Definitely has that yo-yo. Yeah, that yo-yo is going to be a problem for Ganon. Now, here's the thing, though. Both characters are going to have to watch out for each other's area because they both have extreme priority over... Oh, yeah. They both have very big priority, a lot of uh, damage and knockback from Ganon, and just a lot of combo potential from Ness. That four it... up smash is going to take it, man, right? That. Mm-hmm. All right, we're going to have to start seeing some more techs. But that backer is going to definitely take it at 181. Oh, yeah, definitely. Now, uh, good Ganons. I, lo I love watching good Ganons. I have a really, really good Ganon in the crew I'm in. Yeah. So I, I have experience in it. It's amazing what a good Ganon can do. Yeah, my friend, he doesn't play Ganon in this game, but back at Smash 4, oh, my goodness, you should have seen this Ganon. He's like the only good Ganon I've ever seen in Smash 4. A Smash 4 good again, and that's amazing. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what's crazy about it. Oh, look at look at the damage. Uh, that racking. was a really good spaced uh, oh, forward air. I don't know if yeah, that was. I, I'm pretty sure that was on accident. Yeah. I'm surprised if he th that he didn't just release it immediately. However, yeah, it ain't, it is not too late to bring this back. Then. Oh, it is definitely not too late, and the Ooh. priority on that Nair going right through Ness's up smash. Yeah, Ganon's Nair is a difficulty. As I said before, I play Ike also, and let me say, Ike versus Ganon is actually a lot harder than you think it is, because man, does Ganon have huge range and huge priority, and surprisingly more speed for some reason. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, like his up smash and his forward smash, it's like, oh, oh my that God. stomp is going to take Dandy it. Wow. spiking Yak. Dandy not afraid of getting hit by the... I don't even know what that's called, to be honest. We, uh, we just call it himself. the stomp here. It's no, sending Dandy a message. not afraid of getting hit by the Ness, hitting himself oh, with yeah, PK Thunder Launcheroo Rocket. Oh, I love the PK Thunder Launcheroo Rocket. That's like my favorite move. That's my go-to name for it on the spot, so sorry about that, everybody. <laughs> well, I mean, it's been confirmed now. Is that a Dorito? That is, in fact, a Dorito. All right, we've got Doritos in the chat. Uh, I'm making me hungry. I am hungry. I have not eaten today. I ate lunch. That's... I forgot to order my ceremonial Subway. Ceremonial Subway. Huh? We got a lot of thinking here. I would, I, I would like to think my options, too, because when it comes to Ganon, you got to really know how to m move around his options. And... When it's a flat stage, he's got free roam to do anything, but he can, ha he can have problems with projectiles coming at him. Oh, yeah, with platforms, he's got that up smash, man, and that up air. Definitely, uh, if I was Yak, I'd be looking to try and take him to FD. New Donk City, <laughs> New Donk City of like, course. I mean, why uh, <laughs> FD, maybe uh, PS2, because those are pretty awkward uh, for getting launched onto for platforms. Uh, I'd say uh, Town and City. Now, Town and City is definitely Kalos. a good option. Ka Kalos and Town and City, I would say, are probably his best options here. I would not. I would stay away from spa uh, Smashville because the that Smashville, center platform, Ooh, that that's center scary. Pla platform, and we're going to FD, so definitely was which I thought was the best option. Definitely makes me wonder what did Dandy ban? And oh, he's we going see a switch. We see a switch. Let's see what happens after. Convincingly winning that first game, he switches from Ganon to Krom. It's going to be interesting to see how he performs during this. Yeah. Krom definitely has the speed to get around these projectiles. Now, as an Ike lane, I'm going to have to say, with Krom's up B, you're going to have to watch out because, man, are there a lot of ways to mess with that. And, man, does that do a lot of damage. Yeah, because it's, it's a really good move at the cost of being a really bad move. I actually got to uh, play against... Uh, Dandy's Krom for like a single friendly and I <laughs> I teched the upward hit of his up B because if I didn't I would have been spiked and killed. Yeah. 
And I, I didn't know you could do that. Oh yeah. It's a, it's a scary, yet not so scary move. If you know how to deal with it and knock him out of it, it's it's a pretty it's a hard time for Tron and I. Oh yeah. Um, I, Ooh, that's I just learned barely... that, uh, for example, with Dark Pit, I can just forward tilt them out. Yeah. It's a very it, like any disjoint or any uh, down aerial usually can do it if they have to recover low. That was very close. Both of them almost hitting each other. Yeah, we're seeing a a lot of swinging around, but that. That back throw really sealing the outfast stock. There's this frame data website that I look at a lot for uh, all the Smash games. They, they haven't been updating it lately, but back in Smash 4, they called that back throw the Ebola back throw. <laughs> <laughs> so to this day, I will continuously call it Ebola back throw. What about Incineroar's? Uh, Incineroar's back throw might be stronger than Ness's. Yeah, with the... With his, um, well, I forget what with it is. Revenge. It. Yeah, yes. that's what it's called. Revenge. With revenge, it's the strongest back row in the game. With, with, I do believe the strongest back row though is actually Doctor Mario's. Doctor? No, I don't. Is it? I think so. I remember seeing something like that. I, I thought I saw something about Incineroar's like just without revenge. Why was he holding that? I don't know. I, I have no idea what he was trying to go for. Maybe a really hard. Wow. Read. I don't think that was going to be technical. <laughs> I think uh, what Dandy was looking for was actually to counter it. That would, I think he would have been a little too close to actually make the hit. But yeah, heck, I, you I definitely give him actu trying. you actually do have to uh, Ooh, close jab set. Uh, space out of it because if you're too close, the the hit just straight won't hit. They'll be on the other side. Chat saying it was not techable. It I was not techable. All too right. strong. Oh yeah, that move's definitely very strong, so. Alright, oh, we're seeing a pretty big comeback from its yak. Maybe the Krom selection was not the best idea, but I have been wrong before. I have seen Commentator's Curse is definitely a thing. Interesting he did go for the jab in that regard, maybe expecting him to drop shield. Uh going for roll behind grab. Yeah, gotta watch out for those dash attacks with Krom too. It's a kind of a iffy move right there. Uh Fun fact, K.O. Ken, uh, not all red splash zones are untechable. Uh, if it's just barely a red splash zone, you can still tech it. Uh, it has to do with your velocity afterward, after the splash. So Since it if was it's, that. Huh? <laughs> Since it was that, I, I, think, I think we all know. However, 99% of the time, it's not techable. Yeah. But it's definitely always worth attempting to tech it. All right, we're seeing a return to the Dark Lord here. Dark Lord Ganon. Yeah. Let's see if that uh, character switch doesn't hurt our boy Dandy here. Yeah, it's a, it's a very it's a very small window, however. Three, two, All right, bringing it to uh, Pokemon Starter too. Oh, this Pokemon Starter! I hate this stage. By the way, oh, I love this. I'm stage. just telling you, we're not gentlemaning to this. Oh no. No. You don't like the stage? I, I only I gentleman the battlefield if people want a gentleman. I was never a fan of battlefield. Well, well I mean I looks like, like it, we're banning my guy. <laughs> I'd rather ban Kalos and Uh what was the other one? I can't remember. Why Oh what? okay, he's okay, okay, yeah. jump. keeping him keeping him away from the You know, the maybe guys. that might have been what he was going for before, however he didn't have his jump. Yeah. He went a little too far down. But it's a good plan to keep him from edge guarding. It's definitely a scary move. Ooh, grabbing him out of an area. Wow. That back throw. Sh oh, oh, that, that DI. was terrible, DI. That, yeah, it was a close call, but that. Yak yeah, definitely capitalizing on that. Uh, oh, okay. And Dandy just getting him with the raw up smash. We call that a Hail Mary attempt, and it works sometimes, so. Sometimes it does work, just like a Hail Mary in football. Yeah. All right, getting that forward tilt and that forward tilt the down B. It gave him enough damage to take that damage lead. All right, shield grab not reaching yet, but utilizing that PK fire quite well. Oh yeah, definitely. He's um, finding himself getting grabbed. Though. However, he may be utilizing the PK fire pretty well, but it doesn't look like he's getting very many good conversions off of the PK fire. Yeah, not much coming out of it. That. Like, even another PK, like a run forward jump PK fire would be better than what he's been getting so far. Yeah. Ooh, that Nair is going to give him that 23.8 damage. 
All right, let's see My if he heart drops the... every time he goes for that. Yeah, it's it's hard to see down there. Reed, right. Reads the jump, but doesn't full hop. Okay, better watch. Oh, oh this... just a double up smash. I never saw someone Hail Mary twice. Then again, I played with Dandy all the time, so I've seen, I've seen him do it like four times. So. What am I saying? <laughs> what a what a legend. He'll, he'll get you if he thinks he can, and he did. Oh, there it Another, is. Another. He's definitely uh, getting a lot of these. I, it looks like he's almost right, toying with percent. Yet now. Yeah. Lucky, lucky percent, as you said. Uh, even stocks. Uh, Dandy definitely with the stock, not stock, but percent lead. That Ness or Yak. Very, very scary situation as Ganondorf can kill at this percent, especially now that after that down tilt. Mm -hmm. A good parry. Let's see. It, can he get anything off of it? He got a good 30 percent. That's good. It looks like uh, Yak is starting to get more reads, but he keeps getting caught every now and then. He, he needs to not push too far. Oh, that yeah. definitely appears he's pushing his luck at times. Uh, so that forward, forward air keeping Dandy out. He's going to go for it again. Oh, oh, oh is that going to be a forward oh. tilt? Yep, no tech. Side tilt, B forward it. tilt. I didn't, I've never seen that. I've always seen a down tilt afterwards. Um, It ha it depends on character. 